What's good, YT? Right, it's your boy, Wayne's the Order. Back here with the new Disney reaction, man. Listen, subscribe, like, comment, feel me? You know, shout out to that man, Darius, man. Reach People Media. You know, he's recording live with the team today to cover some some, some things that happened over the, over the, the weekend. Uh, if you guys are not familiar, man, look. I'm a Colorado fan, fan of Coach Prime, fan of what he's doing out there, the foundation he's building for these young men, you know, to be more than football players. And, I, and a lot of that comes with what he says to him. Um, if you pay attention here, he's he's asking if any, any, any more players want to leave. Apparently, there was 15 players from Colorado that, that enter into the transfer portal and some of them were top recruits. You know, one of which happens to be the number one uh, defensive back, Cormani McClain. And, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with transferring to a better opportunity, but when we all look at this opportunity here that, that Colorado has provided for a lot of the players, it's like, it's not too bad of an opportunity, bro. You know, and a lot of guys who have ego, there's nothing wrong with ego, you know. Ego, in my perspective, is, you know, what, what you believe your potential is. But then you got to be able to collaborate when you come around other egos. You feel me? Like, like, Carmody McClain was the number one recruited defensive back, for instance. But he's not going to come to Colorado and start over Travis Hunter. You know, I'm not saying that's the reason he left, but I'm just putting things into perspective. Like, yes, you are the number one player that's being recruited now, but currently we have guys playing for us that are top recruits that were recruited in the same fashion you were recruited. So until we feel like you get up to that speed, we'll give you that starting opportunity. And my, my thing is, like, man, it's, it's not wrong with transferring, but... Why commit to a culture, environment, a team for a long period of time just to leave? You know what I'm saying? Like, you should, you should kind of see like, oh, okay, this is not going to work for me right away. Because then you, you not only just save yourself wasting your time and coaches and, and everybody's staff whatsoever time, but you make things easier for everyone, man. You know what I mean? If you're an athlete out there, man, young athlete out there, old athlete, whatever, man, you know, you got to be able to handle pressure, bro, and pressure is not just game situations, man. You know, pressure is like the coach expecting you to really be Michael Jordan or, or whatever sports you play at, the, you know, your best player, the best player you think ever did it, you know? And all that is to turn you into a dog, a monster. But if you can't handle that pressure, you kind of going to look at it as, you know, you being attacked or, you know, they're riding whatsoever, man. But, but those who want to be great, they understand, like, okay, I got to take it to the next level. You know? And Coach Prime is telling them right now, like, you got to work hard over here. Welcome back to another episode of Boxing. You're not getting nothing handed to you tonight. Yeah, I'm a part of JB. So with it, man, JB. So we're here in the recruiting office. How are y'all feeling out at the So these are some of the recruits for Colorado right here. You see this coffee right here, don't you? Down, you know, they hard at work because I'm telling you a lot of, like, new players is trying to come over to, to Colorado. And replace them old players. Like, don't think you're not replaceable as a player, bro. You're always replaceable, bro. You could be one of the best players on the team. You get injured. They give somebody else on the team and your spot starting spot. And they, they kill him more than you was killing. You know what I'm saying? So just always appreciate whatever opportunity you have and work hard to get to the next one. Because sports, it's like, there's always going to be somebody better than you, bro. Mm -hmm. What about you, JB? Yeah, same thing. You, you expect a few guys to hop in, but at the same time, just the nature of what we do is going to be some unexpected moves. Right. You 
I'm sure some of the guys that got in there might have got in there because they was listening to like guys who was about to leave. Feel some type of way when they leave. You know, these are kids at the end of the day, and they're humans, right? Like we're in the kid business, and at the end of the day, they have made this NCAA has made this a business. So now, like the kids got a different perspective. So they make business decisions just like we do. So they had the opportunity to feel like they can do what's best for them. So I mean, I hear what he's saying though, but. You know, we, we like like he said, it's a business, so you got to look at things as a job. So sometimes you might not like the job that you're at, but you know how things work. And, you know, that might give you a room, room to, like, advance. But if, if you just, you know, there's always going to be, not, nothing's going to be perfect, man. Always going to be problems, for real. Like, whatever team you play for is going to be an issue, bro. You might, you might have the best coach, but the players is selfish. Some, it's going to be something. So you got to take the good with the bad for real. Like, you know, at, at the end of the day, that's how you get better. Because if you go where somewhere to somewhere where everything's perfect for you, everyone treats you like a king, you're the man, and you get all the playing time, you never improve, man. I think it does have because you never think. face adversity. You got to be able to face mm-hmm. adversity as an athlete. Game, we all love. And everybody's goal should be the NFL. And if it's not, I don't want you. You know what I'm saying? So, and I, and I feel him on that, though, because yeah, if, if you think about going to a program to play sure athletics there, it's like make sure you, make this decision. you should have love for that athletic to not want to leave whatever program you, you committed to. Just be wise in the decision. Like you said, he's still you know what I'm saying? Just make the right decision to set you up for the next five to ten years. Yeah. Yeah. And everybody be wanting that instant gratification. And like they mentioned, you know, it might be NL, NL, NIL deals, you know, that some, some guys are chasing. Maybe they feel like, look, they could come to Colorado, get better, leave, go with that on their resume, and get an NIL deal. But at the end of the day, though, none of that really matters because, you know, if you balling on the field, you're going to get an NIO deal, bro. Like, you just got to be really killing on the field. They're going to see you. Because if you go to somewhere else, there's going to be top guys there, too. Like, you're going to have to go, like, to one of the weakest colleges. Because it's like wherever you go, there's going to be top, top quarterback, top uh, lineman, top safety, top DB. Wherever, if it's a top, if it's a, it's a powerhouse program, they're going to have somebody there that's, that's highly recruited and highly ranked. So imagine you went to Colorado for two seasons and you like, man, I don't like it here. You transfer to Nebraska. It's like, bro, you think they ain't going to have... <laughs> They ain't gonna have top players in the basket. Come on, fam. Actual football. You know what I'm saying? You just made things harder for yourself. You really gotta start all over. You know, you gotta, like, work your way up again. Find guys that, you know, we got relationships, ties to stuff like that. I'm sure some, some people don't look at, like, look at it like that when they transfer. They just look at it like, I'm not getting the, 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 the love and. Or like, you know, the, the opportunity I deserve here. And I and I think these guys probably gonna go about the recruiting process way different. You know, they 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 more so looking for guys who really love the game. Anything else y'all want to speak on that y'all been seeing? Yeah, you gotta get that phone on. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie, man. Listen, if you're an athlete and you're ranked in high school, that's very beautiful, bro. There's nothing wrong with being ranked, but don't don't let that go to your head to where you you feel like you already made it. And 
They need to treat you like you're in the league. Nah, you still gotta grind. You still gotta get there. Get to the league. You still gotta get through college. Cause really, that'll like develop bad habits. So if you highly ranked, act like you ain't ranked at all. Like go harder. The harder you go, the better. The, you know, the better you gonna put yourself in. Yeah, yeah, just a little gem right there, no jewelry yeah, store, man. Tap back in with y'all boys, probably later this week to give y'all a Like, one time, someone's really scared to play in a real game. It's them dudes that be singing on the bus and rapping so loud before the game, bro. <laughs> yeah, they be like. Uh, I wouldn't name it NBA Young Boy song, but I don't know any of the words. Bro. His name is Silent Flame, man. They don't scream on the bus. They really be trying to kill shit. From my experience, I've never seen that happen. <laughs> <laughs> Even Ray Charles. I want to get your opinion quickly on the portal, bro. Um, how you feel about it overall? Good, bad, ugly. You think it's beneficial? Because you play, you play college football as a player. I mean, Daryl be chilling. You wouldn't think you play college football. I stuck it out way till I graduated. Facts, I just said that. Man, I just literally said that, man. You gotta be able to deal with some adversity, man. That would make you great. Cause if your life is cupcakes, go, man, it's like, what you gonna do when some up, stuff hit the scene for real? The buff boys, man. Them boys ain't quit, man. Head tap, buddy. 
Oh yeah, that's easy. Do that to the outside shoulder. Because the, the, the defensive back wasn't even playing. He didn't play, play his hands. Oh yeah, that's in there. <laughs> Shout out to Jalen. I'm up, man. Get out the way. He don't want me to go. Caleb or real one? Caleb will go. No, I'll lock you up today. No, no. You know, shout out to his bully, man. He be letting them look. Hey, y'all better not want me to come go against y'all. I'm, I'm we making people fumble in the games. <laughs> man, they keep making them think it's cold, bro. When Coach Mathis unleashes me at corner, bro, y'all gonna feel me for real. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Shadow don't want to be saving no more. Sound like a raw version of Coach Prime, bro. And when I say the raw, like I'm, 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 I'm so too. Oh yeah, that's in there. Oh, they say he's out. They need like a cold tight end though for them. Yeah, they need, ooh. They need a tight end slash. He could be a receiver too though. They need a cold tight end, man. Oh, my bad, I had to cut my neck. They're talking that stuff. Don't start now. What? I was practicing today, bro. 
It was good today, bro, as a collector. I need to do some better things, though. My hands and stuff. We getting better every day, though. Hey, man, we're trying. What's going on, bro? They brought it for you. Is this free? Yeah, it's free. Oh, what? We finna grow. We finna eat good. What? Come on, bro. You get food there? Yeah, I'm trying to. All right, man. No? Hey, bro, chill. Man. Rock, you need to put something on your head, bro. I do. <laughs> hey, hey, food comes first, though. Rock, put the helmet back on your head. Uh-uh. Food comes it's first. Chill, man. No, I worked too hard for this. Your cranium was like, damn it. I am 100% like all in and out. I mean, my, my family from Cali, so I ate that all the time, bro. Like, <laughs> in and out all day. It's all I eat, brother. Really? You said camera too hot. You got the sand. There he is. You hit it? It's off. You're losing some guys to the portal. What are you looking forward to reestablish? What position groups are you hunting? Uh, I, I wish you guys did a little more homework when you. Start talking about the portal. You know what, <laughs> saying, uh, what we losing? Yo, Coach Ryan's trying to hear nothing about no portal. Bring it to everything. Backups. Who are we losing? Who's potential starters? Potential. I really coaches. follow us, y'all be watching our Please film or practices. We're good. We're we all right. We all right. What happens with the portal, man, and then you guys need to know, a lot of people are fighting for backups. When a guy's a starter and he transfers, you got to really think about that. I mean, is he really dead? I don't know how many <laughs> starters have really transferred nah, that's facts. around the country. But we can attract those type of players, but I don't think we're losing those type of players. And and if we do, we're good. We're good. We're making a big deal out of that. So, right, I just feel like he's going to save all them players and new players. God, I want to say new players going to be better. I just feel like sometimes it don't be enough time for them to really know what's, what's really going on through the mental of these young boys. But yeah, man, listen, y'all subscribe, like, comment, man. Till next time, you heard. Conversation with Shador and just tell him to just show you his DM one time. You would not believe the kids that call him or call Shiloh because they're high profile young men that calls Travis, that calls Jimmy, that calls some of the guys that has been here that's the standard um, to 